Welcome to the Boots and Ballads giveaway. We got JW in the house today, and we're feeling all right. Yeah. <laughs> we're giving away three pairs of boots. <laughs> Do you think one pair will go to you? Are you feeling lucky tonight? Are you feeling lucky Yo, Jeremiah Craig here. How's it going, everybody? This is Boots and Ballads, JW Boot Company Edition. Whew, are you ready? We're giving away three pairs of boots today. Wow, I'm so excited. This is great. This is great. Look at all this. Look at all these folks in here. 46 people right off the bat. This is great. Nice to see you. Lil Len in the house. There's Neil. Happy Saturday. <laughs> He's staying up late in Scotland. Nice to see you, Brian. Jim Beasley in the house. Tony Go. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Diego, how's it going, Hank? Yo. A 50s Pirates, how's it going? Dennis. Kobaski, nice to see you again. Mentalist is in here. Mentalist asks, way, way before I started the stream, he says, does he announce the winners at the beginning or at the end? Well, that's the fun part because we're we're announcing three winners. So I'm gonna announce some at the beginning, some in the middle, and some at the end. Well, one, <laughs> one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. How's everybody doing? This is great. It's great to have you here. It's great to have you here. <clears throat> I'm doing great. <clears throat> Rick Bryant, give a shout out to your five-year-old Ben. How's it going, Ben? Good to see you. Good to see you here. <laughs> All right, I gotta pull up my outline. I forgot what I had scheduled. What are we? What are we doing today? Oh yeah, we're giving away three pairs of boots. <laughs> All right. All right. So welcome one and all. That's what's on my outline here. It says, "Welcome everyone." <laughs> welcome everybody. Oh, J W Boot Company Boots and Ballads giveaway. I am so pumped for this. This is the biggest giveaway that I've ever done. Uh, huge thanks to JW Boot Company for uh, partnering with me for this giveaway and supplying those three boots that are up for grabs. Now, remember, if you win, you get to choose not only your size of boot, but also the kind of boot that you want. So you don't have to get the, the blue ostrich or the eel skin or the booties back here. You can just go to jwbootcompany.com and just pick the one that you like. How cool is that? <clears throat> All right. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Good day. Good day. <clears throat> is Blake watching? Yeah, he, he commented earlier. Blake is in the stream. <clears throat> Blake is in the stream. Say hi, Blake. Now that there's, whoa, 70 people in here. <clears throat> but before I announce the first winner, we're going to let people sort of come through because I'm sure that reminder just hit people's emails, hit people's Facebooks, hit people's YouTube notifications, and maybe they need to find some place to sit down. Maybe they need to finish making that popcorn. Maybe they need to finish pouring that beer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a song. Now this is a song off of my last album. It is called Three Villainous Mil Ministers. And there it is. Uh, there's the Spotify code in case you do that. <clears throat> off of my album, In Vacant Dates and Intentions. Now this is a song about the Mongols. The Mongol Empire. When Kublai Khan was the emperor. So 
not Genghis Khan, but his like grandson or I don't know, great nephew or something. See, when they conquered China, the Chinese were not very happy about it. So what they started to do was spread rumors about the tax ministers, the people who would come around and collect all the money that the Chinese owed the Mongols. The Chinese got fed up with it. And sometimes they would spy on these tax ministers and report back to the government about what they did wrong. And then the government would kill them, the, the tax ministers, and then replace them. Um, and if they couldn't find anything wrong with these Mongolian tax ministers, they'd make up things. And then they would end up getting them killed for that reason too. And they did this three times. They did this three times, at least three times that's recorded. Uh, they got three tax ministers killed. <laughs> kind of, It's kind of like uh, cancel culture today, except being canceled back then would, was basically um, death. <laughs> so this is a song about that whole situation. It's about the Chinese reporting all of the tax ministers to the government. Three villainous ministers. Here it goes. <laughs> we made three villainous ministers with our lower textbook conspirators. We planted the crystals and we planted the jewels To watch them grow up and break the rule Follow me to that holy man's home i show you his red hand print Shame his home We made three villainous ministers with clarity of expert translators. They covered the honest and they covered the right with ashes from battle and then tucked them in tight. Follow me to that holy man's home. Show you how this leader limps. Shame his bones as he shamed our own. He's just as heaven sent as Diablo. This rain is still short in years. They're still damp behind. Follow me 
to that holy man's home Just ask the brothel, he's on their list Shame his home as he shamed our own He's just as heaven-sent as Diablo Three villainous ministers. That's a true story, or at least based on a true story. And you can hear it on Spotify. There's the code right there for Spotify. I don't know if you knew this, but if you go into Spotify here, and I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. If you are a Spotify user, you can go in here. And you can open up Spotify and go to that search function. And then when you type in something to search, you'll see a little camera up here in the corner so you tap that camera and then you can scan things see so all you have to do is hold that up to the code and then you'll get three villainous ministers right on your phone pretty cool huh <clears throat> that's how it works that's how it works this is this is the 21st century folks <laughs> <sighs> Did you guys know that the Mongols had a version of cowboy boots? <clears throat> they were talented horsemen and archers. So they had their own style of cowboy boots, um, probably based off of what the Huns had. Some people say that the Huns had the first cowboy boots ever. Pretty interesting fact. All right, all right. Oh my gosh, who's Facebook messaging me right now? Don't they know I'm busy? Dawson, what are you doing? I'm busy right now. <laughs> You're on the stream, buddy. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Jeff. I'm glad you like it. Texas in the house. John Woodward, Canada, South Carolina. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you guys remember that poll that you guys did? Uh, what's your favorite boot color? Well, you guys want to see what the results were? I want to show you what the results were. Are you ready for this transition? Let's see if this works. So, I took all of your colors and I kind of grouped them together sometimes. And if you said you like black and brown or brown and black, I usually just took the first of whatever you said and counted it in there. But that was kind of rare. So, let's look at your favorite boot colors. So, here are your favorite boot colors. Now, there were 407, 470 entries into this giveaway. Huge. That's the most ever. So, we got a lot of data to work with here. <laughs> Although, it is a convenience sample. It's not like I went out and tried to find a whole bunch of different people from a whole dif different um, you know, background. It's only the people who follow me, and that's what we call in data science a convenience sample. So as you can see, brown wins, uh, which are we surprised? I'm not surprised. Uh, pro probably the most popular boot color around for decades, if not for centuries. Then black is a close second. Again, not, not surprised here. Not surprised. Black Cherry is fourth under blue, but we're talking about like a half of a percent or a, a, a third of a percent here. This is crazy. 0.4% blue over Black Cherry, which is kind of surprising to me. I got to be honest. Uh, I've With all of the pictures that I see of Black Cherry out there, I figured that Black Cherry would win over blue for you guys but blue comes through by the skin of its teeth you know what i'm saying kind of surprised there but i can understand like maybe you don't want to wear your blue boots that much because you like them so much black cherry is sort of that all-around color that can go good with pretty much everything um which is why some people might like it the best or might not care for it 
either way, just because it's like, oh, I'll just wear my black cherry boots. Although I really like black cherry. Black cherry looks great. And then up here we have um, just like different shades of brown, like the cognac, honey, tan. And I didn't group those all together with brown because they had enough people actually call them out to where I felt like it was kind of okay to leave them separate. Although cognac and honey can be pretty similar depending on the company that produces the boots. They can be kind of close. But I got to say that I am a huge fan of cognac and the honey colors right now. Like it's a, a really cool color. I just like how it's it, it pops, but it's not like too crazy like the red boots, which I'm actually wearing right now. And I'll show you in a second. Um, but then cognac red is is like tied with cognac red gotta love red coming through and then gray is uh is is uh under red gray boots that's a, that's a good color and then we have our outliers which are the little slivers in here we had somebody say they liked white boots a few people said they liked white boots uh and then there was one person who said they liked teal teal was their favorite color for boots uh, one person who said they liked yellow and a couple of people who said they liked green the best for their color of boots. So interesting stuff. Thanks for answering that question for this giveaway. It's always fun to sort of report back and see what you guys like. And uh, this is always fun. So thanks. Thanks for filling out that form and uh, sharing your favorite boot color with me. Not surprised about the brown. Not surprised. Snakeskin. I did have a couple of people come through and say they liked snakeskin as their favorite color, but I'm not sure. Like, that's natural, you know? But I can understand why you would go that way. But I erased the snakeskin because I didn't even think about it. Because I was I don't know. Snakeskin as a color. I don't know. It's up for, it's up for debate. It's up for debate. Who wears white boots Really, I wanted to do, I wanted to do a video about white boots. It didn't work out. So maybe someday. White boots. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of white boots out there. <laughs> that new boot goofing. <laughs> white boots. All right, all right. How do I get this? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're back to the regular screen. All right, we're gonna do a, a boot check, and then I'll announce the first winner. What are you guys wearing? Wearing the. Uh, the red, the red Caymans. <laughs> red Caymans as pictured over here. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. So I think my cheers button is all ready to go. The, the applause. So let's bring up the first winner here. <sighs> Guys, are you, are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna take this moment to say, hey, if you don't win, remember that you can get 10% off your order at JW Boot Company when you use the promo code JC10. So if you don't win at some point today, you still have a pretty good savings there, especially if you buy some of the exotics, you know? All right. I was prepared. I had everything set up except for the list here. Okay, okay, now I got it. So, the first winner, and we're gonna get rid of this. Promo code. Get the cheers button ready. First winner of the JW Boot Company Boots is Norman Green from Burbank, California. Congratulations, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Norman congratulations Woo! first winner of the day congratulations Norman are you on the stream I want to know what boots you picked I want to know I want to know what you picked hey Alejandro how's it going Norm Norm are you here <clears throat> oh damn congrats norm i'll email you 
I just want to know what you picked. <laughs> Sometimes these these boot giveaways, you you have one boot, and that's what you choose, and that's what you get, like the Ariat Rambler. But this is always a mystery. It's a mystery which one will be chosen. There can only be one. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so norman first winner is down we got some we got some people in here we got 100 people in here wow that's crazy that's awesome so if you guys are new to the boots and ballads live streams uh then what have you been doing with your life i mean i'm just joking <laughs> thank you so much for everybody who's coming through, who's new. These Boots and Ballads live streams are sort of like a variety show. Okay, so I play some music, I announce some winners, and I talk some boots. So there's a, like a little boot segment that you would usually get in a on YouTube, right? So I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about today, and something has come up, re, re, like frequently, and it got me thinking. How many boots should one person own? It's an interesting question, right? Because you get into boots and you get one pair of cowboy boots. Like, you're a newbie. You get one pair. You're so pumped. And then you're thinking about, maybe I want another pair. But is another pair weird? I'm here to tell you, no. It's not weird. <laughs> it's not weird. You can have as many pairs of cowboy boots as you want. But what is the perfect number? Is there a perfect number? Infinity? 100? I don't know. I mean, I'd be happy with uh, 100 boots. Wouldn't you? But there's like this sweet spot that I've noticed. It's like this average number of boots. So... That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about like that sweet spot. How many boots is the right boots for you? <laughs> so when I got my first pair of boulets right here, I started wearing them around. And then I noticed that the leather sole was not the best for all situations, right? So I was thinking to myself, would it be okay to get another pair of boots that had a rubber sole to sort of use as shit kickers or work in boots or just boots when it's rainy or snowy or salty or just generally nasty out? Because um, if you ever wear leather soles out and about, especially in the wintertime, uh, it gets kind of slippery. And it puts you in situations where it could probably ruin your day. <laughs> you know, you fall on your ass while you're headed to class or something. <sighs> Can you imagine trying to sit down in history class learning about the Mongols for two hours after you just fell on your tailbone and felt like you broke it? Oh, so that's why I went out and got a pair of rubber sole cowboy boots after that. Uh, not the, Not this pair. I had to get rid of that other pair. I got a pair of Abilene's, but I did get this pair as sort of a replacement to the Abilene's. This is a pair of Fry Roper boots, and it has the rubber soles on it, right? So having some rubber sole sort of kick around boots that you can wear in the rain, in the snow, that you don't really care about what happens to it. And I got these secondhand. Um, this is a great way to get to get um, boots is secondhand. So I got two pairs of boots, and then a couple of months later, I was like, you know what? All I have is brown boots, because my Abilene's. We're, we're pretending that this is, my, is an Abilene. All I have is brown boots. I have my brown boulets and my brown fry ropers. I need some black boots. So I went out, and I got some black boots, okay? So I'm up to three boots at this point. I'm probably around like, I don't know, 20 years old. <clears throat> so I got these black boots and I'm up to three and I was pretty happy with where that took me. Like I would have been set at three boots. I got my 
brown pair, my black pair, and my rubber sole pair that I can just wear around, right? But then I went boot shopping with my buddies. You see, I am like this about boots in real life, okay? I only started recording it about a year and a half ago or two years ago. So I would take my friends to go boot shopping, right? And we would just try on a whole bunch of different boots. And I would usually just let them pick out a pair and then I would leave without boots. But this one day, I was just trying on a bunch of exotics. And I had a pretty okay marketing job. So it was sort of a risky thing, but I wanted to see what these exotics felt like. And I put on a pair of Cayman Belly boots. And I had a spiritual experience. Have you seen that video? You guys know. Spiritual experience. And when you have that spiritual experience in a pair of cowboy boots, it's so hard to leave the store without them. But I hesitantly put them back on the shelf. My friend found the pair of boots that he wanted, so we went up to, so he could pay for them. And I was just standing there waiting for him to pay, sort of tapping my toe, you know, in my boulets, my, my brown boulets. And I said, fuck it. I'm going back and I'm getting those Cayman boots. So I was up to four boots. <laughs> I was up to four boots. And I stayed at four boots for about, I don't know, eight years or so until I started this channel. And that's when I got my next pair of boots. So I would say that three to five boots three to five boots is like the sweet spot for the average person, okay? Uh, unless you have a lot of people around you who are into boots and really excited about it. Like I wasn't really looking to get another pair. And as I talk to people, it seems like four is the sweet spot. I was talking to Raul Delara, who will be on the channel hopefully next week if I can finish that video and he said that people ask him how many boots he has and he says four and they think that's weird but we are up here in the east coast it just seems like three or four is the right just the right amount for the average person until you start talking with other cowboy boot enthusiasts which is what I did when I started making these videos. And you all just drove me crazy. I couldn't get enough. So it definitely comes down to peer pressure to always want another pair of cowboy boots. You can't have too many pairs when it comes down to it. But for those of us on a budget, for those of us looking for that sweet spot, how many cowboy boots is right. I like to go brown pair, black pair, kick around pair, exotic pair, and then a real shit kicker pair if you can. Like this I got at a, a thrift store. These are waterproof Justins. Got them for like 20 bucks and they fit. So now those are like the shittiest of shit kickers that I have. So like three to five boots, I would say is the supreme sweet spot for the average people. But once you're in there, I feel like once you go to six, there's no turning back. I think that once you cross that five, it's like, it's either I'm cool with five or I need to have all the boots. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> kicker boots yeah you gotta you gotta kick the shit out of those kicker boots <clears throat> question coming through uh, do heels hurt after a while when walking in boots long distances I would say that depends on the pair of boots that you have uh, I have walked miles and not have my heel hurt 
in some boots and then in other boots yeah sure it'll happen uh, it just depends on the pair of boots it doesn't necessarily uh, mean one is bad quality or good quality it just means that one boot might not fit you as well as another boot so it it all depends on you know on you on your foot and finding the right boot for you and that is also something that I forgot to mention when you find a boot brand that is good for you like stick with it uh, my 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 boots were mainly boule boots like three out of four boots the three out of those four were boules I stuck with boule because I just liked them so much and I didn't get that heel pain I didn't get any other kinds of pains and they just felt so good and I felt like they looked good too so I just kept with the boulets so there's nothing wrong with brand loyalty when you find a brand that you like um, because you know they might just fit the way that your foot is uh, all boots are gonna be different that's why it's so important to try so many so that you find the right pair for you and kind of wait until you have that spiritual experience and that's when you know that's when you know that you found a good pair yeah Leah says the boot reasoning number is very good I never thought about it until just recently when I've seen so many people with three to five pairs of boots it's like three to five pairs are all the boots <laughs> all right see you little Len have a good one. All right, so I'm gonna play another song and then we're gonna announce the next winner. Whew, this is so much fun. You guys are the you guys are the best. I just gotta tune this guitar a little bit. All right, 97 people in here. Like the red. I like the red of the of the uh the Cayman boots too. It's such a different red. These Cayman boots are really nice. I love the color. Like, I was thinking while I was walking my dog earlier today, I was wearing these red Cayman boots. And I was just looking at my boots and I was thinking about this music genre called shoegaze. Have you guys heard of the genre shoegaze? Basically, it's kind of droney. Uh, isn't super melodic, but it's sort of a genre of music and indie rock where you just sort of zone. And it's called shoegaze because you basically walk while listening to this music and you just so zoned in by looking at the ground, you're basically looking at your shoes the entire time you're listening to this music. Um, I want to make a genre called boot gaze. <laughs> Although maybe not. Now that I said that out loud, this sounds weird. <laughs> I'll get in trouble for that. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. We're not, we're not doing any genres called boot gaze. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Speaking of boots... Here's a song that I have about boots. <laughs> I'm going to pull up the cover. This is a song that I released uh, over the summer. It's called Old Boots Got Soul. You guys ready for this? All the new folks in here? Got soul, so I patch 
passion when they need it and this life has a toll so i bandage when i'm bleeding old boots got soul and i carry on this way and we get it better Come home in the evening after a hard working day. I'm proud of what I've done, even if it's just for a little pay. I kick off my boots before we do it all again. Always remembering where I'm going and never forgetting where I've been. We are great, but we share. Every step for decades will be my aim. Yeah. Old boots got sold, so I patch them when they need it, and this life has a toll. So I bandage when I'm bleeding. Old boots got sold, and I carry on this way, and we get it better. So I patch them when they need it and this life has a toll So I bandage when I'm bleeding, old boots got sold So I carry on this way and we get it better Old Boots Got Soul, you can hear it on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play Music, Amazon Music, and everywhere else. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Learn the chords to this one. I do have the How to Play Old Boots Got Soul video on uh, the channel. <clears throat> So if anybody wants to learn that song, uh, that's pretty much all you got to do is just search it on the channel, learn how to play Old Boots Got Soul, and you'll find it. It's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy tune. Pretty simple. Nothing wrong with this simple song. All right. Let's chat for a second. Let's chat. Woo! <clears throat> Old Boots, Children and watermelon wine alan says i've never had watermelon wine it's gotta be super sweet wow jeez i don't know if i could do that it sounds it sounds way too sweet but i want to try it i want to try it rich alan asks who are my musical influences I have a top four. I'm influenced by a lot of great people, but I have a top four. <clears throat> uh, number one is Bob Dylan, if you haven't noticed. I mean, that's kind of obvious. It used to be way more obvious. I made like five or four albums before I released anything on Spotify or iTunes or anywhere else. <clears throat> and all that stuff was so bad. So bad. So Dylan is still number one, though. Um, and all that stuff kind of sounded way too much like Dylan. I've done better at sounding less like Dylan now. So Bob Dylan. Second is Jethro Tull. I absolutely love Ian Anderson and Jethro Tull, especially before the 80s. I feel like once they started getting into that 80s pop sound, they lost me a little bit with all that stuff. Um, but Jethro Tull before the 80s, like that prog rock, that Thick as a Brick. Thick as a Brick is one of my favorite songs ever. And I'm just talking about the beginning of it. I'm not talking about the three-minute thing that you hear on the radio. I'm talking about all 45 damn minutes of it. It's one song. 45-minute song. I absolutely love it. So uh, definitely influenced a lot by Jethro Tull. And also, um, I guess, Earl Scruggs. 
Earl Scruggs is a huge influence to me. I started out on the banjo, uh, and I'll play the banjo in a second. Uh, love Earl Scruggs and what he did for bluegrass. <clears throat> and then finally, Tom Waits. I really like Tom Waits' storytelling. He is a master, and it gets weird with him, which I really appreciate. I feel like songwriters don't get weird enough, at least the popular ones. I feel like there just needs to be more weird songs, you know? Like the songs about Mongol history or songs about out-of-body experiences, near-death experience, songs about ghosts, songs about grave diggers, you know? And I feel like that is territory that Tom Waits just lives in and I really appreciate that and I try to bring that to a lot of my storytelling when I write songs too. So those are my top four. <clears throat> this is just water. I'm not drinking anything. I was drinking uh, red wine a little bit ago before the stream. Love Van Morrison. Love Van Morrison Bleeding Orange. <clears throat> Man, he's a master. My fa my favorite album from Van Morrison, I think, was is Astro Weeks. It just sounds so raw, and even though a lot of times, like it's not even in time, it just feels so natural. You know, Van Morrison is a master. Uh, so good, so good. <clears throat> Into the Mystic. That would be a fun song to cover. <laughs> water and vodka i'm not a huge i'm not a huge songs about inflatable sofas you know it neil <laughs> definitely not out of tom waits tom waits area uh, i don't even really like vodka it's definitely not my favorite i'm more of a i'm more of a, a bourbon kind of guy i want my alcohol to have flavor vodka doesn't have any flavor you know what i'm saying come on no, no disrespect to the vodka lovers out there. It can definitely, it can definitely come in handy. <clears throat> favorite Western movie, Brian Ellis asks. My favorite Western movie. <sighs> oh, geez, it's so tough because there's so many good ones. <sighs> okay, so the John Wayne True Grit is like so good. Uh. Absolutely love that. But also, The Shootist is really good, and so is The Cowboys. And I really like I really like the, the westerns where John Wayne dies, and there's only like a couple of them where he dies, like The Shootist and The Cowboys. Uh, but then there's like the newer ones, like the Kevin Costner ones, like Wyatt Earp and Open Range. Have you guys seen Open Range? <sighs> Open range is so good. That shootout at the end, he's like, "Are you the one who killed, who killed that boy?" He's like, "Yep, enjoyed it too." And Kevin Costner just walks up and shoots him in the head, and then this whole guns fight starts, and they're like, "What? He just did that? He can't do that, can he?" <laughs> oh man, Open Range is such a good movie. Uh, jeez, and. So is to Tombstone's a classic. I gotta say, when it comes down to it, True Grit, True Grit, the John Wayne True Grit is just so good, so classic. That's bold talk coming from a one-eyed fat man. <laughs> Jeez, there's so many good lines in True Grit. <laughs> Fill your hands, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, True Grit. It's got to be True Grit. The John Wayne True Grit. <laughs> yes. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, classic. John Wayne. John Wayne is so good. Favorite Western actor. How could you not like John Wayne? So good. <clears throat> I don't think I've seen A Man Called Moon. I don't think I've seen that. I'll have to look it up. Favorite Western is Rooster Cogburn, the follow-up. Yeah, I remember that. I still like, I, oh, True Grit. It's like a masterpiece. 
It's a masterpiece. Lonesome Dove, another masterpiece. Wow. Blazing Saddles, another masterpiece. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. All right. I think it's time to announce the next winner here. Is that what's next? Yeah. Actually, I jumped. I jumped the gun. I was supposed to announce the next winner and then do questions, but you guys just jumped right into questions. So, um, next winner. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The second winner of the JW Boot Company boots is Mercedes Zapata. Also known as Mermaid Mom of Twins on YouTube. Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Congrats, Mercedes. Out of Fresno, California. Ho oh, ho. Yes. Yes. Congrats. Jeez. I think you're the first woman winner. That is so great. That is so great. Congrats. Mercedes, are you on? I want to know what boots you picked. Are you going with the booties? Or are you going with something else? Mercedes, congrats. Another Californian. Another Californian. Fun fact. Here's another fun fact. Most of my viewers come from Texas and California. Are we really surprised, though? Texas, top, top in the views for my channel. Thank you, all you Lone Star men and women out there. Yes. It's always it's always bigger in Texas. Even in Massachusetts on my YouTube channel. Appreciate you, Texas. Appreciate you. But also California. Second California. Winner of the night. So you got any more questions or we want you want to chat some more or is it time to play another song? <clears throat> Because I, th I think it might be time for the banjo. I think it might be time for a banjo song. Germany in the house. Yeah. Representing California. How about Florida? Yeah. How about Florida? Let's do a shout out for Florida because that is where J JW Boot Company is based. Shout out to Florida. JW Boot Company Pensacola, Florida. Yeah. Florida in the house tonight. There we go. Pensacola. <clears throat> 850's Pirate is in Pensacola. Whew. You and Blake are going to have to go get a beer or something. North Carolina, Kentucky. <clears throat> Is the Red Cayman an option? Yes. Any boot that you see on jwbootcompany.com is an option. Send those boots up to Canada. Ship them up there. All right, all right, I'm gonna play a song. So, as we were talking about weird songs, and being inspired by weird stories. <clears throat> I was inspired to write this song after listening to the uh, Mysterious Universe podcast. You guys listen to that podcast? I'm sure somebody out there. One of you weird West Texans. I love West Texas. I love West Texas. One of you weird West Texans out there listens to Mysterious Universe after you saw some US UFO or something in the sky. So I was listening to, listening to uh, <clears throat> Mysterious Universe. It's a it's a show about aliens and uh, different sort of conspiracies. Bigfoot is one of the favorites. It was run by two Australians. If you haven't listened to it, you totally should because it's one hilarious. Like the banter of these two guys is great, and they cover some really incredible and crazy, creepy stories. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll be in awe. 
it's great. So, <clears throat> I was listening to that one day, and they often cover near-death experiences combined with out-of-body experiences, meaning that when somebody gets in a car crash and their heart stops or something, <clears throat> they their spirit sort of floats out of their body, right? Or they're on the surgery table having a triple bypass surgery or something, right? And the, the surgeon slips a little bit. Oh, no. And the guy's bleeding out there on the table. And he's like, and then the, and then the, the pulse goes boop. And then the spirit sort of floats out of the body. You're having this near-death experience because then they fix you and they put that life back into you. You're sucked back into your body, right? But there's all these stories about what happens when people die for like a minute before they're sucked back down into life when people bring them back and it's sometimes good like they see incredible things and sometimes bad so this is a song about a person who died on the surgery table from open chest heart surgery or something and he saw some great things in his near-death experience so this is called Open Chest Revelation. I lost my fear when I lost my connection Beneath the edge of night I started my adventure with the act of levitation But they brought me back to the buildings of lights And it was a more than a dream it was an open chest revelation and now i know there's more than what there seems to what we call a life well i did not feel like i knew my own reflection as i glanced at my shell as i passed there was no thought of a correct direction No limitations attached It was just a gleam An open chest revelation And now I know what it really means To be breathing and alive translation of life and its so-called facts so if this should come again I want there to be no questions do not bring me back for I've known nothing so serene as my open chest revelation and now I know what it really means to be alive chest revelation off of my album lost keys in lounge strange that is an album full of weird and freaky banjo songs lots of different crazy stories on that and i recorded that with my buddy jake boucher in phoenix arizona so just so you know before you go into listening to lost keys in lounge strange it's basically about somebody sort of spinning their keys, right? So you got your keys, and you know how you're having a good day, and you're sort of spinning them. You're like, yeah, we're having a good day here. Spinning my keys, spinning my keys. You ever been doing that, and then all of a sudden they just fly out of your hand? You're like, whoa, I didn't expect that. But this is about that. Some dude sort of spinning his keys, and his keys just fly into this bar. Like, It's like, whoa, I guess I'll just go inside the door and sort of reach and grab them. But when he goes in there, he can't find him. So he asks the bar owner, 
if he'd seen his keys around, and the bar owner says, I haven't seen any keys, but you can ask my patrons here. Uh, and they're all a weird bunch, just so you know. So each song is a different story from a different person that this guy talked to because every time he asked anybody if he saw his keys, he'd be like, no, but I did see this monster down by the swamp. And then he'd get this whole story in the song uh, about the monster down by the swamp or about the ghost or about being abducted by aliens. So just know that going into it. And I also change my voice a lot on that album because each person is a different character. So just know that going into it. A lot of people like it, but also a lot of people don't like it because it's just so damn weird. But I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so that's called Open Chest Revelations off of Lost Keys in Lounge Strange. I froze up. Oh, shit. All right, all right. I hope I'm still going here. Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm still going here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Good, good. Sorry about that interwebs you know so now should we announce the last winner is that what's next on my yeah that's what's next that's what's next on my outline here we gotta keep we gotta keep things on schedule can't be jumping around all right so the final winner the final winner three boots guys huge shout out to JW Boot Company for supplying the three boots for the giveaway. Now, Blake has supplied the stream as a, for an extra gift of like, uh, let me see, is like extra money off. Like a, uh, I gotta pull up the, I gotta pull it up here. So it's, it's a promo code. For $75 off of any Cayman boots and $50 off any other kinds of boots. So if anybody's interested in that who doesn't win and wants to get a pair anyways, uh, let's 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 uh, choose some winners. So just know that there's still a chance to get something after this. And then we have the giveaway in March. So whew, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, so... The final winner of the JW Boot Company Boot Giveaway for February, this is the third winner, is John White from Charleston, West Virginia. Yo, congratulations, John. Oh! John White, you win. Oh, nice. Woo! Three winners. Three winners get three brand new pairs of boots from JW Boot Company. Huge thanks to Blake for supplying those boots. This was so much fun. What a great month. What a great month. Wow. Congrats, John. Are you on? Oh, no. I, I hesitated on the John. I was like, John, no! <laughs> there he is there he is John you're on the stream John you're on the stream congrats congrats man <laughs> yo what are you gonna pick what are you gonna pick John I wanna know I wanna know what boots are you gonna win are you gonna take the other winners were Mercedes Zepeda, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, also known as uh, Mermaid Mom of Twins on YouTube. And the first winner of the night was Norman Green. Both Norm and Mercedes are from California. 
California winners. Yes, one more cheers for everybody, all the winners. Yes, congratulations. Let's go, let's go. Ha, three new pairs of boots headed to the West, oh, two new pairs of boots headed to the West Coast. One new pair headed to the East Coast. All right, John, what did you what did you pick? John, I want to know what boots you're gonna pick. Come on, you're supposed to have this ready. Everybody has the boot in their mind. What boot is it? <laughs> oh, congrats, congrats, everybody. Whew. All right. So, do we does does anybody want? $75 off a Cayman boot because I can totally pick one of you guys. I'll just pick live. I'm not going to pick off the list because you guys are so cool. I'd rather have one of you guys take it. Anybody want Anybody want $75 off boots? Should I do like a quick giveaway thing? <clears throat> yeah, you guys do? You guys do? All right, all right, all right. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to play another song. And I'm, we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna do the thing that I usually do, uh, where I say, "Start commenting now" in the comments, and then between all those comments, I'll I'll just pick. I think I I think he says like, uh, "There's three. He's gonna do three. So we got six. So we got six codes. We got three seventy-five dollars off of any Cayman boots, and then we got three fifty dollars off any other kinds of boots on the on the website. So. Here we go. I guess we'll just go for it. So, start commenting now. There we go. And then I'll pick six. And and screw it. The six that I pick will also I'll also send you guys a boot wallet. They're actually cell phone wallets, but I was looking at these Caymans here. And I think the le the leather lining in them uh, is like the perfect kind of leather for that to adhere to. <clears throat> so we're gonna I'm gonna play another song here. You guys got lots of time because I'm gonna play a like a four minute song here, and I have to tune. This is what it's like live. This is this is life live. <laughs> I'm so surprised that you guys put up with me. <laughs> We're having fun though. <laughs> this song is called Reverie Pilgrims and it's off of my Commandeer EP. Commandeer is a is a whole suite of songs that I wrote after meeting my wife in college, and then we moved to Arizona together. Right after college, we didn't know anybody, and uh, we just decided that we wanted to go there. Which, if you've never done that, I would highly recommend it. So this is the end of the suite of songs that chronicles the success, even though there were some lows and some thoughts about even if we could do it. It's called Reverie Pilgrims. Towns on the new gold rush. No matter how long you let it pursue ya, you always submit to love. Yeah. When you're shaking down the colored sea green, or walking a weak plank with nothing but trust, maybe ready to sleep, perchance dream and say, I, there's the rub, and I say, I say. And what 
I'm only looking forward so we rig the ship to blow. You keep that fire burning, yeah. You keep the light to make it all explode, and you still take me over, love me, all the commandeer. Giants barking at the ones who own the land. Amused at watching us pitch ten, but the laps come softer as they watch us grow. And the reverie pilgrims have brought worlds and dreams swinging through billboard skeletons. And what happens when come high water? We'll grab flowing doors and follow the flow. Yeah. Great fireworks show when you still take me over lobby of the commandeer. Also has Jake Boucher on it. Ha! All right. Yep. <clears throat> okay. 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 <clears throat> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thanks, John. I'm glad you like this one. This one was fun. So much to give away. <clears throat> All right, all right. So, what we're gonna do here is, I guess I'll just choose a, how many people we got on stream right now? 54, everybody left. Well, not, not the important people though. All right, so I'm gonna do a random number generator like uh, we usually do for everything. And the first one, for some fifty-five or seventy-five dollars off of Cayman boots goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-sevent
$75 off of Cayman Boots. What? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong camera. There we go. All right. So, Lil Len, Fear J. Whew. All right. One more 75 one more $75 one, and we got it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Raymond Valencia. Let's go. Yo. Yo, Raymond. $75 off of Cayman Boots. What? Yeah. Bring it. Bring on the savings. I'll take that. Yes. All right, so now we're going to do $50 off boots. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to have to remember. I'll, I'll I'll also send you guys these boot wallets, too. You guys you guys seen that video? What is this still doing up there? I'm not playing that song anymore. Come on, Jeremiah, get with it. All right, all right, all right. So we're doing $50. We're doing $50 off now. Bum, 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 bum. Generate! Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Next one is Cody Bird. Cody Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Cody Bird coming through. Ha <laughs> ha. $50 off boots. All right, all right, all right. Who's next? 14. All right, all right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Da, 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 da. Alejandro Alejandro Yo $50 off boots Yes I'll take that Alejandro says Congrats Congrats How many have I done? Shit I think I got one more <laughs> I think I got one more <laughs> Six is too many To keep track of I need a producer or something any producers out there? All right, all right. I don't think JW has pure root goo. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Okay. Okay, Southern man. One forty-two. Fifty dollars off boots. Will you take that? Will you take that? Southern wrestling. Yeah! I'll take that! Woo! <laughs> yes. Congrats to everyone. I don't need a kiss, Raymond, but you already did win, so you can keep that kiss to yourself. <laughs> Just looking through all these old comments here. You guys are silly. I like you guys. $75. Uh, I don't know. You'll have to talk to Blake about that. He specifically said in the, in the thing the $75 was for the Caymans. Um, so you'll have to talk to him about that. $75 off of bull highs would be a really good deal. That would be awesome. All right. Do you guys want to know what the next giveaway is going to be for March? We're done with the giveaways. We gave away three, three boots today. Whew. Can't, can't believe it. It was awesome. You guys were great. And then... We did some extra promo codes at the end and to everybody else who came through and was like, man, I didn't get any boots. I didn't get any money off. Well, you can use my promo code, JC10, when you go to JW Boot Company, any order. You can get 10% off when you put that code in at checkout. But I'm not done with the giveaways. Not for the year, anyways, because we have a March giveaway coming up and i'll probably drop this somewhere in the middle of march so that we can have another another end of the month i like doing them at the end of the month it just keeps everything organized are you guys ready for this are you guys ready for this let me get this out of the way so the march giveaway is with ranch road check this out Ranch Road, this is the walker, okay? So for all of you on the stream still, thank you so much for being here. You get a sneak peek 
into the March giveaway. Partnered with Ranch Road, as you can see, look at that snip toe. Look at this boot. This boot's up for grabs. Not this one, but a new pair in your size next month at the end of March. Whew, guys, this is a cool boot. It's a little stiff out of the box. I gotta be honest, it's not super comfortable from my experience so far, but as you can see, I barely I barely even like worn it. See, you can still see the logo. But we're booking the extended test here shortly. So this one is up for grabs, um, guys and gals. So it's called the Walker for men, and it's called the Fayette for women. Exactly same boot. It's just different, just has different names for different genders. So this is up for both men and women. Again, absolutely love doing these giveaways where everybody can win. Are you guys excited? This is a $450 boot made in Spain. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. So that's what we go, got going on next month, the giveaway for March. We're rolling, guys. We're rolling. We're over 7K. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers who have been coming through. This has been blowing up since December, and it's been crazy, and I'm so grateful to have all of you guys here. This is so much fun to be doing these giveaways, spreading the love of cowboy boots across the world. Like, this is nuts. People coming through from Indonesia, from Quebec, from Canada. Lil Len, you're from Canada. You've been here for a long time, though. You've been here for a really long time, Leonard. Huge, huge thanks to everybody who's been here for a while. Like, you guys are the best. Thank you. Robert, are you just coming in now? Who won the giveaway? Who won the giveaway? This is the end. This is the end. <laughs> uh, Norman Green was the first winner. Mercedes from California was the second winner. And John White was the third winner. And I will email all of those winners. Congratulations to all of the winners. Congratulations to all of those chosen for the extra money off boots. Uh, and yeah. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Lil Len, I'll see what I can do. Maybe because basically the promo codes, when you get when the $75 off to Cayman, I get a cut of that. But uh, if you want the boots, maybe I'll make my cut less or non existent so you can get those for cheaper so that Blake can still, you know, get a, a little bit. He can still make a little bit of money off of them. So maybe I'll nix my cut of your promo code so that you can get $75 off. So still, I'll see. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to Blake. Um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. If it really helps you get a new pair of boots, I don't need that. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can work out. John, love it. Congrats, John. Mm. You want another banjo song, John? I think we can manage that. I think we can manage that. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me today for the JW Boot Company giveaway. These giveaways are so much fun. Like, so much fun. I'm so fortunate to have you guys around so that I can, you know, spread the love and joy of cowboy boots. How do you guys feel about a, a ghost song on the banjo? I This was my backup banjo song in case I got too scared to play the other one <laughs> I don't play that one very often so I had the ghost the ghost fear the most as this as the backup one Tony you're a nice guy yeah blue face Kato I announced all the winners this is the end Sorry, Blueface Kato. I don't think you won, unless your name is Norman Norman Green. But I'm pretty sure it's not, because his YouTube name was just Norm. 
and then John White won, and then Mercedes, also known as Mermaid Mom of Twins, won. Yes, thank you, Brandon, for putting the winners in there. Everybody's coming in. Did I win? Did I win? It must be, it must be quitting time on the West Coast. I think maybe the next one I'll do on a Saturday so that I don't leave anybody out. I mean, we still had like 100 people in here, but I, I still feel like a lot of people said, they, you know, I have to work. You're starting at 7 p.m., which is 4 p.m. on the West Coast, and a lot of those folks are still in at work, and suns is still up, like shining, and here they are like, what am I supposed to do? We got a boot giveaway going on, and I got to crunch these numbers. So maybe I'll do a, a Saturday evening next time. Can I please do square toe giveaways? Yeah, I mean, this was a square toe giveaway. You could choose the toe style. Uh, Rambler was a square toe. I've done square toe giveaways. Uh, next month is not a square toe, though. It's a snip toe. So, haven't had enough snip toe giveaways. Actually, I've had one before this one. <laughs> All right, so here is Ghost, the ghost fear the most. When I finally came to, I was far from the wreck of the grove. I was at the crematorium with the man run in the stove. Well, I reached out to grab the man whose work kept him so trim. But when my hand met his shoulder, I just passed right through him. And then I noticed the guest list when I began to turn. And the ring in the dust where they had placed the urn. It had finally happened, yes, I finally met my end. Doomed to walk the earth until time started up again. Yeah. So I made my way home to give one last goodbye When I heard a cry of terror from the old Stanley place walking by Now they say that place is haunted and they say it kinda soft Careful so the spirits they don't move from loft to loft Seen as I could go unnoticed, I thought I would check in Since those old Stanley folks had been as close as kin But when I walked in I could not believe what I had saw Two specters had Miss Stanley frightened and huddled against the wall Yeah. They were two spirits of thieves who died in jail and buried in the cemetery when winter's air got stale. They looked at me in amazement when I told them to get lost or they would be sorry that our paths had ever crossed. They both laughed aloud and said, ghosts can't do each other harm. And to prove it, one walked up and stuck his hand right through my arm. It was then I threw a punch just to double check his test. And my fist had landed hard against his face as if it was still flesh. And then the other attacked. But it was all in vain, and soon they were scared off from the beating I had laid. And I started to wonder why I was so differently made. And I realized they were buried and I was released by the flame, yeah. So there must be something special about a fire after death. Instead of wasting good space for an eternity's rest. So if you're some lowly dirt muncher haunting those who can't defend, know that I'm the ghost, ghost fear the most, and you best not test the trend. Ha! The ghost, the ghost fear the most. <laughs> About a ghost superhero. <laughs> who's cremated instead of buried and it gives him special powers over other ghosts and he chooses to use those powers responsibly and protect the living <laughs> talking about weird songs that's what i'm talking about <laughs> all right yo yo john woodward you're the best thank you all right brandon says what's the most people you've ever had on a live stream was this the biggest I think this was the biggest, well, on YouTube. I think this was the biggest on YouTube. There were about 100 people in here. On Facebook, uh, sometimes if I do the right kind of tags, it can get crazy. Uh, about a month or so ago, 
I had about 2,000 people on a live stream in the morning. So every morning I do coffee and music live streams on different platforms. Now, every morning is getting kind of hit or miss here in the winter. Um, but most of the time, every morning, I do them on different platforms. And when I do them on Tuesdays on Facebook, sometimes I'll throw in like little hashtags or tags in order to try to get people to see it. And then sometimes some somebody shares it and then it just goes crazy. So um, yeah, they, there was like 2,000 or 3,000 people on a live stream then. Uh, but uh, I, that is basically kind of luck because you're just sort of tagging things and hoping for the best. I'd have to say that this was the highest attended stream right here so far that I've ever had because there was like over 100 people on. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Good late night campfire scare song. Yes, totally. I love it. Uh, MBR, MRB Pro says that was really good. Just subbed because of the banjo. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Whew. <laughs> Subbing because of the banjo, not for the boots. Anybody can talk boots. But you can't play ghost songs on the banjo like I can. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today congrats to all the winners and to all of the folks who got the promo codes i will go through the recording and try to match up and listen again to who won those promo codes i'll email you and i'll copy in blake um, i'm also gonna want your address if you want one of these boot wallets because i can i can definitely mail you one of these boot wallets too if you want one uh i got a bunch uh because I, I'm buddies with the guy who sells these on Amazon. And after I did that one video, he just he's like, oh, I'll send you a few and you can give them away. He sends me this enormous box. He sends me like hundreds of them. And I'm like, I don't have room for all this stuff. So I gotta get rid of these things. You guys want one? <laughs> so I'm giving them away here and there throughout the year. Uh, they're kind of a fun thing to sort of drop, drop in on coffee and musics too so i'll just say hey you guys want some of these i'll give them away so if you guys see me live on youtube in the morning sometime or on facebook or instagram you never know you might win some some stuff so thank you all for hanging out with me tonight rick thank you for hanging out appreciate you brandon thomas i appreciate you uh thomas asks are guitar strings and banjo strings different yes they are different. Um, the banjo strings are nickel plated. So they're more silver, okay? And there's only five banjo strings. So as you can see here, we have five banjo strings and the top one is actually the highest. So uh, it's like, this is banjo history for you. Banjos were three to four strings. <laughs> And then somebody decided that it was a good idea to add one more on the top. And it's such an, it's like in this awkward place. It's the, it's in the, the tuner is in the middle of the neck because there wasn't any room up here. So banjos have five strings and the highest one is on the top. So you kind of use it as a drone, a droning, you just sort of hit it like that. And it's always, you know, you don't usually, you don't usually, um, Press it down with a fret unless you're like crazy awesome good like Bella Fleck. And then guitar strings. You got six guitar strings and I like to use phosphor bronze. Um, so these are bronze guitar strings. And of course there's six of them. So yeah, my... Uh, you can't, I guess you could try to use banjo strings on a guitar string, on a guitar, but I don't know if it would work out very well. Thank you, A50 Pirate. You are the best. A leather wallet you stick inside your boot shaft to hold your phone. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I like that idea. <clears throat> Goes into your boot. All right, everybody. Congrats to all the winners. 
You guys are the best. Huge thanks again to Blake at JW Boot Company for doing this epic release this month. It was freaking epic. Can you guys believe it? Three boots. I can't even believe it myself. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, congrats to all the winners. Remember, next month, we're continuing the giveaways. So, this isn't the last one ever. So, keep your spirits up. We got lots more stuff to give away. And I'm trying to put one in the docket for April. I'm trying for you guys. We'll see what I can do. I have a backup plan that... Uh, I might try, but we're not even in March yet, so I have plenty of time to figure out that April giveaway. But I want one to come through because these giveaways are just so much fun. Again, thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. You are the best subscribers in the world. I will see you around. Lots of content to come. March is going to be freaking epic. You guys are the best. Peace. Have a spectacular weekend.